Yeah, so times are crazy right now, and I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me to ask, one, how I'm doing, which I'm doing okay, but two, to ask me what should we be doing right now as professional filmmakers or aspiring professional filmmakers to continue to grow our business and to make sure that we have some steady income coming in, but that our business doesn't completely go under during this crazy time of quarantine. Well, I've got three tips for you guys, three actual practical ways that you can make sure that your business doesn't go under during all this craziness. What's good, creative fan? Brandon Washington here. And with all this craziness going on, I can honestly say that I have lost over five to $7,000 worth of gigs just because of all of the shutdowns. Between shooting at South by Southwest, here in Houston we had the rodeo, I had gigs lined up for NAB which has also been canceled, and then just other client projects along with the fact that I shoot for the University of Houston and colleges are not in session right now which means I'm not really getting a whole lot of work. So what this meant was that I had to completely reshift my business in the matter of days in order to make sure that my business didn't completely go under because without getting income, you can't really have a business. So these are the three things that I have personally done to make sure that my business continues to keep moving forward. Now, obviously this is a very in the moment type video. And so things may change as we continue to go through this as a country or even as the world. But I think these are three things that you can start doing today that are gonna really help you when it comes to your overall creation and your business and just kind of making sure that you, know, you can make it through this. Now the first tip that I have for you guys is to jump into broadcast, but more specifically, churches. Now I personally go to a church every single Sunday and I've actually been serving there for about two years and I absolutely love my church. And obviously when all this happened, the first thing that was really to go was mass gatherings, which included churches, which meant that a lot of churches that have never done live broadcasts or really have never done media were forced to try to figure it out really quickly. Now, some churches have staff, but a lot of those same churches that have a staff don't really have like a media person or someone who really knows what they're doing. So they're just trying to learn really quick and try to move forward. Well, that's where you can definitely come into play. The difference between broadcast and shooting video or film or commercial isn't that much of a difference. Now, obviously there is the live element of it, but something that I have found is that if you can help a church pre-record their message and they can pre-record two, three, four messages at once, and then they can set them as premieres on Facebook and on YouTube, it actually makes it look as if it's going live at that exact moment. So you can take all the things that you know from shooting commercial or from shooting video projects and take that into a church world and be able to actually help them produce their message. Now, as a Christian myself, I personally think that this is one of the strongest things that we can be doing right now, especially in all this. I mean, as we all know, Easter is literally just right around the corner and a lot of churches are trying to figure out what to do. And as far as I'm concerned, this is not just like a temporary thing. This is actually something that churches should be doing and should have been doing for a long time now. But I think that if you can get in with a church right now, maybe even a couple churches and help them actually produce their services for Sunday, you can not only help your business grow, but then you can also help a really good cause by working in a church. Now, I'm not telling you what denomination you should be helping. I think that's completely up to you to go figure out. But as we all know, especially here in the United States, especially if you live in the South, there are churches basically on every other block. There's probably more churches than Starbucks at this point. So there's definitely a church that you can find that you can help out and that you can use to actually help further grow your business. If you wanna actually kind of see how I do it at my church, I'll have a link to my church's YouTube page down below in the description. So you can actually see, and like we just started doing this. So there's not a ton of videos on there, but everything we've done has been pre-recorded, And so you can actually see the church that I work with and I help produce their stuff. Now the second tip that I have for you guys is, and this isn't necessarily about making money right now, but it is going to help you. And that is to stay in contact with all of your clients. I mean, as of right now, I'm sure you maybe have had clients to cancel jobs on you, or you may have even had clients that have gone completely dark. That's okay. I mean, at this point, that's what you would pretty much expect but don't let that be a reason for you to not still reach out. Reach out, find out how they're doing, see if there's anything that you can do to help them remotely, 
maybe they can shoot a video on their iPhone, send it to you and you can edit it. There's still ways for you to stay in contact with your clients and to still get work done with your clients. And so I strongly recommend that you stay in contact because when this thing is all said and done and it's all over and trust me, it will be over and we will be past this one day. When we look back at it or when your clients look back at it, they're going to remember who they spoke with and who reached out to them and who sent them weekly email updates. And those are gonna be the people that they remember on the other side and ultimately they end up calling whenever they do need something. So don't hesitate to reach out to your existing clients, keep in contact with them, make sure that they're doing okay, ask how their family's doing, ask how they're doing, you know, whether that's how their business is doing or how they're doing personally, because this thing is taking a toll on all of us, but that doesn't mean that we can't be social and that we can't still be there for our clients. All right, and the third tip that I have for you guys is actually to start creating your online platform. So many of you guys have wanted to start YouTube channels, Instagrams, TikToks, whatever. You name it, you probably have wanted to start it and you had every excuse in the book to not do it. Well, now is the time to do it. You're stuck at home anyway. You have all the gear you need at home. I mean, if you're watching this on a phone, you have all the gear that you need in order to start your online platform and you have no other excuse not to. An online platform at this point can be the make or break for a lot of people. I mean, for me, I have to say that it has been. Having my YouTube channel and having affiliate links and selling stuff through my digital store has been the main reason why I've been able to make it through all this change. As I mentioned before, I've lost a lot of money due to this whole you know, outbreak or whatever. So with that being said, it's super crucial that if you can start building your online platform, go ahead and do it. If you've started and kind of fallen off, that's no big deal. Keep going, keep building it out. Even if you take a day and just shoot like five videos all at once, and then you just spend time editing it over the next couple days and putting those out over time, that's totally fine as well. Whatever you can do right now to build that online platform, I strongly recommend you do it. But there you have it guys, those are three tips that can maybe help you during this crazy time and how you can ultimately get through this and get to the other side as far as being able to grow your business and make sure that not only are you continuing to stay working, but that you are also setting yourself up for a better future. I mean, who's to say that when you're all said and done, all you take these tips, they're gonna help bring in you know, your income and keep your business going, but then on the other side of this, all of your old business comes back to you as well, and then you're able to continue to grow that business. But thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions about anything that I stated, leave those down below in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.